This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in North Richmond. More specifically, I'm in Washington Park. Today we're going to take a look at a three-bedroom, one-bath, ranch-style home. This home is located here in a really interesting location. Uh, Washington Park is a north side neighborhood that is pretty unique. Uh, we've got a, a hodgepodge of architectural styles. You can see the house there in the middle of the frame is pretty unique in its styling. And we've got traditional ranch style homes. We've got a few two-story homes. We've got brick, stucco, vinyl, as far as our exteriors. So uh, nice diversity here in regard to the house, it's housing stock. Uh, directly in the middle of the frame on the other side of the bus that's coming this way, uh, I actually sold a uh, home. Uh, we actually had it on a video a couple years ago and the one next to it, uh, the two-story home, was actually uh, sold by me as well. Here on the... Alright, so of all the times for me to pick to do a video, I have to wait until a GRTC bus just comes right in front of me. Uh, that's Murphy's Law. But that's okay, we're going to keep it mobile. Uh, directly in the middle of the frame, uh, that greenhouse you may remember because I actually showed you that home too. Uh, there's a famous French philosopher who once said, I get around. I uh, immediately thought about uh, his words. If you know who that French philosopher was, make sure you go ahead and leave it in the comments so uh, everyone else can be brought up to speed as well. Within a couple hundred yards of here, there's new construction going on, uh, at least three homes. Uh, as I was riding in, there's a lot of activity here. I saw a couple of rehabs going on. There's just a lot of uh, work that's going on to um, keep these neighborhoods looking good and a nice, affordable neighborhood at that. Give you a little backstory here on our subject property. Uh, when I initially met with the owner uh, talking about uh, selling it, I noticed that we had a little bit of peeling paint on uh, some of the trim on the exterior. And that immediately uh, made my radar go off because appraisers are extremely sensitive to peeling paint when it comes to government finance loans. Government backed loans are FHA and VA, which a lot of first time buyers use. So we went ahead and had that taken care of. Uh, now the home should be financeable for uh, just about any type of loan, which makes it much more marketable. Uh, I do have some contacts here locally with contractors that are willing and able to do work and then to simply wait and get paid until closing. Uh, and that's huge because now it gives us the ability to have work done if a seller uh, doesn't want to or can't pay for that work to be done. And even in a case like this home, if there's some updates that uh, someone wants to do within reason, we may be able to work it out where those can be done prior to closing. And uh, I'm all about trying to make a win-win scenario for uh, both buyer and seller. Okay, we can see here we have a completely fenced rear yard, an alleyway going through the back uh, for our sanitation trucks so they can access the properties. And then on the rear, we actually have a storage door. Uh, that is a brand new door that was put on. Uh, it was in need of replacement and we went ahead and did just that. So the New owner will have this storage space. Great place to put uh, lawn and garden items as well as a lawnmower. Keep those items nice and dry and secure. Right there, nice steel door. Also, we went ahead and replaced this back porch. It was definitely in need and um, went ahead and had that whole thing taken care of. So the new owner will have the benefit of it. Remember, there's 100% financing available there's grant money available for first time buyers. It just makes so much sense to take advantage of those programs. But you got to work with the right lender uh, and the right realtor that uh, know how to navigate those programs. One of the things that I wanted to share, we also have a webinar coming up. I'm going to put the link below. So make sure you ask RSVP for it. And um, we're going to be spending uh, quite a bit of time going over a bunch of tips and tricks and ways to protect yourself in the first purchase. You can see that's brand new paint that we have here on this porch. A nice place you could get a chair there and sit out on a nice spring day like today and enjoy the birds and nice quiet street. All right, let's go on in and take a look, see what we have in store. When we come in, we come into our family room. 
Uh, they're in the process of getting all the personal property out, so it will be gone here within a day or two. Uh, our carpet uh, and our paint probably uh, could be uh, replaced. And uh, so uh, if someone wanted that, then um, we could see what we can work out in that regard. Good amount of space here in this family room. <clears throat> We're gonna go here to our right. This is going to be our Eden kitchen. I love the fact that we have so much space here. You can see uh, we've got a good sized table, but yet on the right and on the left, we still have a good amount of space. So this kitchen gives us a lot of flexibility. Our window unit is in place. If someone wanted central heat and air, that's something that we can talk about and we might be able to figure out a way uh, to make that happen. Um, if someone wanted to do special financing for renovation money, they could do that. I don't think it's really warranted on this home, uh, but there is special financing available to do so. And uh, I would definitely be happy to answer any questions that someone may have about that. We may talk about that a little bit on the webinar as well. Uh, that's kind of a specialty loan product uh, that some lenders offer. The floor in here looks fine. This is linoleum and it definitely uh, is in good shape. All right, let's go on back down the hallway and take a look, see what else we have in store. This first door is going to be to the laundry room that we just saw. The second door is going to be to our linen closet. Linen closet is convenient here to the full bath and the full bath is down on the right hand side. We do have a ceiling fan and pull down attic in place. Ceiling fans aren't that common in hallways but it's always nice to be able to move some air around. Here in the bathroom, we can see we've got this walk-in tub shower. This is designed uh, primarily marketed to seniors that don't have uh, the ability to either step over a tub or don't want the safety uh, concerns of a falling. And they can, of course, grab those grab bars. There are jets there to take care of that lower back. There is jets down there to massage the feet and then we have dual shower head technology here to get you nice and clean so just a lot of cleaning options a lot of bathing options here in this unit uh, somebody didn't want this um uh, i believe uh, there is a market for them i do know that brand new they go for quite a bit of money and um, that could be swapped out for uh, potentially a traditional shower or tub shower enclosure all right, directly across, this is gonna be our secondary bedroom. Uh, we do have quite a bit of furniture in here, but there's enough space. I think somebody could easily get a full-size bed in here with no problem. Uh, some additional floor space on the other side, of course, of that furniture. And our closet is right there uh, behind our door. We have another secondary bedroom directly ahead. This is the end of the house. And uh, that is a twin-size bed that's currently in place. Uh, good natural light flows into this one. Our closet is straight ahead. Good affordable housing here. Um, this home does not need a whole lot, so I could see it uh, either being attractive to an owner-occupant uh, or an investor, and um, this would definitely uh, be a sound investment here in an area uh, that is really uh, stable and picking up uh, popularity uh, when builders go in to build new construction they're not just doing that anywhere they're doing their due diligence looking at their numbers making sure uh, that that new construction that they're going to spend uh, quite a bit of money on is going to sell and is going to be uh, a very marketable property so that's always a good sign when you're trying to evaluate uh, where you want to be if you see new construction going up that's an amazing sign that uh, you may be in a, a good area okay Walk-in closet, not something we typically see in a home in this size range. This is a big plus. You can go from the floor to the ceiling with some type of closet system and then utilize every inch of that space, uh, put in uh, places for sweaters, for hats, for shoes, rods, for clothes, and just maximize that space. Uh, that's a huge plus in a home like this. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to register 
for the upcoming webinar. We'd love to see you. We're going to share a bunch of information that's useful, is particularly in buying your first home, uh, ways to protect yourselves, ways to save money, ways to be a smart consumer. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.